Hi everyone, it's Tamara here for La La Land Crafts, this week with a card making tutorial using the new clear release stamp set Disco Fever. I'll be doing some Copic colouring of the Disco Cows and then the card making. So let's get started. <music>
some black and white cardstock from the Colour Me Happy paper pack and um, I'm going to just trim it down slightly. It is six by six but I'm going to trim it down to six inches by five and a quarter inches so only a small bit taken off. Then I'll be cutting down a piece of white cardstock to measure six inches by four and three quarter inches. So this will leave a nice border of the black and white pattern paper on either side of your card. I've grabbed out my celebration stencil set and I'm going to be using the stars for this card and I've grabbed my magnetic station. Now as I'm going to be running this through um, and bossing it as well, I'm going to actually tape the white cardstock down to my um, stencil because this will ensure that when you do run it through the die cutting machine, it will be in exactly the same space where we have done the ink blending. I've grabbed some Distress Ink in Weathered Wood and just with this little applicator I'm just going to put a small amount so I just want it to be a really light hand on this stencil um, so that you can just see those stars on my background. So it, um, it just adds a little bit of interest but doesn't take away from the images once they go on the top. So I've sped this up. Um, but I'll show you in a minute and you will just need to add a little bit more. So just keep your eye on it um, to make sure you're not putting too much ink on and just keep going until you're happy with the amount of ink on your card front. Just work in circular motions, just making sure you get to all the sections of the card front. 
I've grabbed out my Sizzix die cutting machine and I'm going to remove the top panel. So you're just wanting to use the one for embossing folders. So I've put my um, base down. Then I've got my rubber mat, which I'll place down there as well. And this will allow you to actually emboss your stencil. I find this really handy because it does just give that bit of um, texture to your cardstock. So just pop your top cover on the top and just run that through. And I will just run that through twice just to make sure we get a really nice impression. So we'll bring that back through. And then I'll show you how this looks. It's quite subtle but very pretty. Now be very careful when you're removing your um, tape because sometimes it, because it's been run through the die cutting machine, it might have pressed down quite firmly onto your cardstock and you just want to make sure you're not going to tear your cardstock. And we'll just uh, flip that over for the reveal. And it's just a really light gradient of that weathered wood and that embossing makes it look really lovely. Now for the background, I also want to die cut out one of the stereos and also the disco ball. And I'm just going to color these up with Copics, just working in gradient from darkest from bottom to top. So I'll speed through this coloring and there's just certain sections that I won't do on camera, but you do exactly the same way, um, of, which I'll do off camera. So just working that color so you get a nice gradient. We'll do the same for the speakers and I'm putting all the colors up the top so you can use the same colors as well and you do the rest that is on the top here. So with the disco ball I've decided to go some yellows because I'm going a really bright card today. So I'm just working in a gradient but I just want a bit more contrast down the bottom so I've just grabbed a darker yellow in Y17 and then using the same colors just to blend that out. And I think that just makes it pop more with a bit more of a contrast between the colors. I wanted to add a bit of shimmer to my disco ball. So I'm just using some Nouveau Aqua Shimmer just to give it a bit of a sparkle. Now to put my um, stereo together, I actually just cut out a little bit of a base for it to sit on and that way you can just attach that and then just fit all your other elements in the middle. You don't have to do this, you could just put it straight onto your card. I just found this was um, an easy way to get that all assembled. Um, so you just put in that background panel. Now I have to try and remember which way it went in and I, was, I had it the correct way the first time pop that in and then you just pop in your main top bit and then your cassette tape to those. Then you've just got some little speaker rounds which will pop in there. Now to attach the handle I find it easier to actually put the glue on the handle itself and then just line up the stereo over the top. And I also do the same with the link for the disco ball and then you just attach the connector at the top and using the tweezers just helps with your control. I'm actually splitting up my sentiment. So I've actually stamped out the shake your as one part. Then I'm going to have groove as um, letters spelt out and then thing as the final sentiment. So I'm just using my tonic trimmer just to trip those two sub sentiments out. Um, so that they fit up the top and bottom of my card. I've grabbed some scrap pieces of cardstock and some bright colors for my letters and now we'll attach our background panel to our pattern paper. So just put plenty of glue on there and remember you wanting a nice border on each side with the pattern paper. So we'll flip that over and get that attached to the front, just leaving an even border either side. So line that up, make sure it's straight and give that a press down and we'll set that aside to dry. So it will be easy for us to actually attach our disco ball and our stereo, which will be right against the base of the card because we're going to pop up all our uh, cows. So we'll get those both glued down, the disco ball at the top and the stereo down the bottom. 
So I've got all my letters all die cut out. I have done three cuts of each letter and stacked them on top of each other because you know I love my dimension. So I'm just going to space those out to work out that everything's going to fit as I want the cow to kind of be sitting there with just the horns going up over the two O's. So I've got that in a, a good placement. So we'll get those all stuck down. So I always like to work from the outside letters in. That way you can make sure that you're evenly spacing out your letters as you work across the card. So we'll get the G and the E down first. And just make sure that we're putting that in the right spot, moving all of the letters to match because I did move them a little when I turned my cardstock around. Now I wanted to make sure also that the G and the E are lining up. So I've actually grabbed out my T ruler and just making sure that that it lines up perfectly, which it does. So then we'll do our R next. Get that pressed down and do our V. And then I'll grab out that T ruler again just to make sure that that R and the V line up. So I'll just move those O's out of the way. The V is a bit high, so we'll just push that down to line up with that R. Perfect. So now we'll attach our final two letters, starting with the yellow and finishing off with the green. And using the tweezers just helps get a bit more room for your um, things to sit down. I've already pre-cut and scored a black card base. It's 11 inches by six and a quarter inches, scored at five and a half inches. And now that I have attached the background panel to that, I just want to attach all um, the disco cows now. So I have already pre-put foam on the back of all the cows. Now I was about to put this down, but I wanted to make sure I've got room for my um, sentiment up the top. So I've already, again, pre-put on foam tape to these sentiments. So let's line that up and I just want to add a little bit of an angle so I'm just working out which angle I want it to go. So I've just got it kind of pointing out one way and we'll do the same for the sentiment down the bottom. So we'll pop the thing on and then we'll get the rest of the cows popped on. So we'll get the lady cow in her gorgeous red dress and black boots. Just kind of getting her lined up sitting on that R and then we'll get the other gentleman on in his green and green top and blue trousers just above that V. And voila this is the finished card for this tutorial. This was such a fun card to make. I love all the bright colours and it just makes me smile looking at it. I've hoped you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have please hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you'd like to see any future videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.